Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are on our way to the winery. Yep, it's a special day today. Wearing my SAG after strong shirt. Yes. <laughs> that I got from the strike. Which brings us to our topic of today's video. We get a lot of questions on Instagram. Instagram and YouTube and just DMs um, and just messages about why we got into acting, how we got into acting, they're interested, and what are some pointers and tips that we can give to them about them getting into acting. Yes, and we decided to share some tips and our experience. Yes. So the first thing that I would say is you're going to need realistically set aside six to ten thousand dollars, and that's for like basic bills. And um, if you want to be an actor on TV who's talking, you need to be a union or part of SAG-AFTRA. And that's around $3,400 to join. So that's a significant chunk of money right off the bat. Yeah, and I would say that it's, of course, it's easier if you already have a partner or you live with parents, so you don't have to worry about bills. If you do have to worry about bills, you have to have savings plus some type of job, part-time job at least. Yep, so that's why you always hear the majority of us are servers, bartenders, and I'm actually, we are on the way to Orange County because mm -hmm. David's bartending this weekend. <laughs> yes, and it's been a while since we went together to the winery. Since you've come down yeah. because you've been so busy in LA. Yeah, I'm always working too. <laughs> but that's what happens. Busy is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's just like the first thing to keep in mind. And then also you're going to want to sign up for like casting um, websites, which also cost money. So oh, yes. we have places like Casting Networks, Actors Access, Casting Frontier, um, all different websites that have different um, basically postings that you can submit if you fit and... Um, Breakdowns, yes. Yeah, breakdowns they're called, but it's basically like a post about a character that you can submit to get an audition for that role. But those all cost money as well. So it's not cheap to just basically uproot your life if you come from a small town or if you're not in one of the major markets they're called. Uh, the markets are like New York, Atlanta, Hollywood, the big cities where there's a big presence of acting and filming going on so talking about casting websites sometimes you can pay for the year sometimes you can pay per month but it also depends on membership so sometimes you have to pay extra for pictures for demo reels uh, to upload so if you want to upload more than like for example two headshots you have to pay then you have to pay for submissions um, but majority of them if you pay for the year i think it's free submissions um unlimited and a few pictures are free yeah so like we just got headshots a month ago and it was maybe like 50 bucks each or something to upload our new headshots. yeah because it's ten dollars per uh, headshot on actors yeah. access after two free ones but as a sag after member you can get discounts too so it's helpful Joining SAG is not uh, cheap and not easy. <laughs> 3400 right now? Mm -hmm. I think it is. I yeah. When I joined in 20, 2018, it was 3200 Yeah. So it's gone up a little bit. I know that last I heard it was around 3400 Yes, and then we have to pay dues. Yeah, so we have uh, quarterly dues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not looking forward to it. <laughs> End of October. It's coming up, all my acting friends. Oh boy. Do's do on Halloween. <laughs> Happy holiday season to us. Start filming stuff. Just just try to learn and talk to people and network. Um, a lot of people we run into, especially in the extra slash background world, um, they just talk about being an actor. They talk about filming stuff. They talk about student films or submitting, and uh, they don't. And I'll see them you know, six months later, and I'm like, have you worked on anything? Have you written anything? Have you planned it? And uh, they say no, which 
which is just you have to just do it and it's very time consuming yes but it's also because as an actor you have to pay bills right uh, we all have bills so if you have to work to make money to pay for rent and some other bills yep. you don't have a lot of free time and also your own projects they require not just your free time but also some budget especially in LA um, if like somewhere in a small market you can do it pretty much for free here you have to pay you have to pay everyone yeah a lot of places Minimum. know that they can charge to rent out their spaces so you have to write something and then you have to make sure it's good you have to get people that are actually gonna show up right um, we understand that life happens but at the same time like there's so many times where I've tried to like film something and then one or two people they just something comes up an emergency and something and I'm not saying that that's bad that's nothing against them but when you are doing your own stuff as an independent artist everybody is essential on the set so like somebody could be an actor but they're also running the camera when they're not acting in the scene because you don't have the budget or money to pay somebody to be a dedicated person to run the camera so those are problems and just kind of obstacles that you run into because you have to end up canceling the shoot if there's one or two essential people that know how to do a specific job that other people don't and then they have something that comes up and they don't know how to do it so that's why you have to be very useful versatile on set because you're always going to be brought onto projects because you can wear multiple hats and wear different shoes on different parts of the project which helps it to get filmed and helps it to actually end up turning out good yes and also i would suggest anyway even if you're doing it uh, low budget short film uh, you still have to pay minimum or at least for half day in this market you guys have to understand like a lot of us have gone to classes, a lot of us have done something at one point or another that's notable, or we've been in a movie, we've been on TV, so our time is valuable because we've worked so hard on our craft, and it's difficult to get people that have gone through all that training to do something for cheap or free. It makes it pretty hard because everybody is focusing on making this their job, making this career, making this the way that they kind of can survive and pay bills and, and save money and stuff, which it's it's pretty hard because you have to submit to a role or film something that's applicable to you. Right, and if you think about it, usually short film um, will take at least a few days to film. So if you're not paying anyone or even like crew or actors, right? Yeah. It's like take a few days out of your um, life just to spend on some project it's not easy <laughs> yeah so they could be making more money on a yeah. regular job mm -hmm. they just have to be a good friend or believe in the project believe in the message that you're trying to convey through this project that you are trying to produce and get done and uh, yeah those few days of filming don't include all the food the locations I mean wardrobe we can rent out a space that costs money and then it's it's not easy to find somebody to edit to. Editing is probably the more most expensive part. Yes, yes. About doing these independent kind of things. And another tip is uh, try to film it during the days off, like weekends. Then people would probably be more open to do something for free or for like a little bit of pay than during the week when yeah. everyone is working. But well, look at me. I'm bartending Saturday and Sunday. Uh, yes. Which means that this is probably the extent of all the entertainment I'm going to be able to provide during this weekend because I'll be focusing on bartending. So another tip, guys, is to shoot your headshots. Well, the most important. Yes, the <laughs> most important one before you look for a presentation, before you are trying to submit for auditions. Um, Headshots are going to be the most important thing and the first thing, the very first thing you do once you move to a major market. Now keep in mind that there's Hollywood, there's Georgia, and there's New York. And each of these markets have a different style and what they're looking for in the headshots. So keep this in mind when you want to set yourself apart and in which market that you're going to be local to, which means where you live, and what markets you're going to be submitting to. So you can submit to different markets, but your headshots may not work consistently across the board for all the markets. Right, and I feel like in LA it's very specific. 
there's a, a lot of photographers, but they shoot in um, their specific style. When you look for an agent in LA, they will know if your headshots were shot in LA or photographer from LA uh, or somewhere else. Exactly, which brings us to our next point, representation. Once you have your headshots, the second most important thing is to look for an agent. So there's different types of representation. I would say the most important would be a theatrical agent. Yes. They're going to have access and have relationships with cast directors for movies, TV shows, all these shows that you're like, you watch, and the ones that probably got you interested in acting in the first place, all these big movie theater movies, these TV shows, these Netflix, that's going to be mostly, primarily through a theatrical agent. Next up is going to be a manager, in my opinion. Um, this is going to be more of a personal relationship. They're the ones that can give you constructive criticism. They can give you advice, whether to lose weight, gain weight, <laughs> change your hairstyle, change your hair color, um, just things about your appearance that can kind of appeal better to cast directors when you do audition. Yes. And at the end of the day, it's your career, of course, and your look, so just do what is comfortable to, for you too. Yeah. To, don't just like change your look dramatically because your agent or manager told you. Because acting is difficult and it can take years, years of your life to, uh, yeah. to start booking stuff. And you know, if you just changed your hair color and you're not happy about it, you, you will be stuck with that hair color yeah. because of acting. Exactly. There's years and years of work and preparation and training and classes, networking. Um, so you want to have in mind, especially when you're doing headshots, um, what kind of characters that you can see yourself playing. What types of characters and roles do you see yourself doing and what makes you happy? Because at the end of the day, majority of us become actors, not by choice, but acting chooses us. Yes. And uh, there's certain things that you've seen on TV or certain movies that you've seen that you just thought this would be amazing to be a part of. Or you did a theater performance in high school or middle school and you thought, wow, this is like super, super fun. And this is something that I want to do long term mm -hmm. because it makes me happy. Um, so there's all different types of things and reasons. So always keep those in mind as you're advancing and learning and growing in this industry and kind of networking and what type of, of characters that you're going to go out for to try to book. And also before you look for an agent, you can try to submit for some student films, short films, independent films after you get your headshots and try to book some stuff, um, at least independent stuff, so you can put together real. Yeah, that would, I would say, be the third most important thing when moving to these things. Especially if you're trying to get theatrical agent. Yeah, if you don't have any footage of you acting, nobody knows if you can act. So, these student films are a good way to go about it. Um, they don't have the budget, but they have the equipment. So, what does that mean? It means that you can go to a local college that has a film school, which has the same equipment that they use the studios they just don't have the budget to afford to have these a-list and big name celebrity and talent and stuff so you're gonna get really good footage through things like an independent project we were talking about earlier a student film um, and it's gonna be an essential tool to helping you build up your, not only your acting reel but your basically representation of your talent right Ability and at least some credits to put on your resume. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are almost at the winery and it is a full fun packed weekend. Today I am working a wedding, yes, which is going to be fun, but the real party starts tomorrow. My winery, Jirachi, hosts the Orange County Wine Fest twice a year. We're expecting between 1,800 and 2,500 people during one day. Uh, there's about seven or eight wineries. We have tequila, vodka, beer, seltzers, um, six different food trucks. There's going to be a live band. It's going to be an insanely wild time. Well, Alex decided to come along with me, and it's a nice getaway from L.A. Mm -hmm. Much better positive energy down here in Orange County. 
Yeah, and I will be filming more while David will be working. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so. to the winery and driving to brand new golf course. First time out. Yes. So cool. Charmaine, are you with the bridal party or DJ? Um, with the uh, groom. Oh, groom, nice yeah. man. Thanks. I'm currently on a break, drinking Diet Coke. I decided to get out, drive around, enjoy this piece here. It's so peaceful, different energy, and it's actually a lot of people right now in parking lot, but still feels peaceful and energy so calm. And I love driving in the nature when I see hills or mountains or even ocean, relaxing and makes me want to create. I already have new ideas for the next vlog, next video. I just got to the winery and I know that ceremony of the wedding is going to start in a little bit. Maybe I can film some, I will see. Empty hearts and neon lights to play with my mind just ordered food to go from John's place restaurant bringing it back David wanted to sleep a little bit so I'm bringing breakfast for us so guys we had breakfast and David went to work and I decided that I'm gonna show you room tour <laughs> I mean I already showed you a few times if you watch some old vlogs you probably seen this place but if you knew check it out so over here we have a small kitchen, beautiful living room, this TV, I love it here, honestly it's so nice here. Turning around, this is how it looks, let's go to the bedroom. On our left, we're going to see bathroom. Shower. And over here we have closet. Beautiful bedroom. So nice. I love this place and if you missed it guys it's Jurachi Winery in Orange County right now we're setting up for wine fest so I'm gonna go and help out and film more empty hearts and neon lights the playing with my mind gotta get out of here tonight oh what a Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye.